Alright guys, welcome to version 3 of my Planetoids map generator tutorial. This is the fully updated version. It should work on Minecraft 1.2.5 and hopefully anything forward. Um, the creator, Saiba, Saibai, however you say his name, has made a new version for 1.2.5 and that's because the old version no longer works, as many of you who've tried my previous tutorial found out. Anyways, so the link to this uh, Minecraft forum thread will be in the video description, so just expand that, click there, and you can go to the download link. Uh, I'm going to use the Dropbox one in this tutorial. Here's a little text tutorial he wrote, but you're not here for that, so right click on the Dropbox link, save link as. All right. Now I've already prepared a folder for this, but, and I would actually suggest you do the same thing. like have a place where you save your Minecraft stuff. So I'm saving it to this Minecraft tutorial folder on my desktop. Click save, right? Okay. Let's download it. I'm just going to go ahead and minimize this. Here's my Minecraft tutorial folder. Open it up. You can see we have Planetoids version 2.exe. Just double click on it. Run. Okay. Right here it's asking you to enter a new world name and it gives you the default is world 1. I'm going to name it tutorial. You do that just by typing it in and pressing enter. Now uh, the first option it gives you is enter the side length of the map in chunks. Minimum 16. And it warns you that anything over 64 might take some time to create. I'm going to go ahead and go with a small one just to make this a little bit faster. But you can go with uh, as far as I know anything as anything like as big as you want. But this is going to be how fast, how fast or slow this is, is going to be determined by how good of a computer you have, processor-wise, and how much RAM you have as well. All right, and I just typed in 24 and press enter. Now it's asking me what type of map should I create? Open sky where there's just nothingness below you, water below where there's water below you, lava below where there's lava below you. I'm going to go and go with lava. So I type three and press enter, and you see this one has a lot less options than the previous versions those are the only things you you get to choose and now it's generating the map and I'm gonna actually probably skip over this in the video so you don't have to watch it generate for who knows how long okay so something that y'all may notice when you're doing this and think oh hey what's going on is that the percentage restarts well, if you look right here, it says saving nether map chunks. So what it did is it made the regular map all the way to 100%, well, 97.95%. Uh, and then it switched to saving nether map chunks. So it's actually making the nether uh, as well, which uh, I don't think the previous version did. All right, so this is what you'll see when it's finished. Map generation complete, elapsed seconds. It tells you how many seconds it took, and then press enter to exit. So I'm actually just going to press enter. It closes the window, and you can see now in my Minecraft tutorial folder, which I put on my desktop, uh, there's a new folder called Tutorial, as well as the Planetoids Map Generator. If you go into Tutorial, you can see it's got level.dat and everything. This is a, it's the save file. So this is our save, and this is what we want to put in our Minecraft folder. So right-click on it, and cut, okay, and then up here in your address bar, click up there, delete everything inside of there, and type percent app data percent, and press enter, and it'll take you to your app data roaming folder, you double click on dot minecraft, and then you can see your saves folder, go into there, mine's empty right now, I don't have any world saved on this, on this installation, so right click and paste, okay, so we're, we're done with that, I'm going to go ahead and minimize it, you see, I have a bunch of Minecraft uh, set links set up. I'm actually going to use Magic Launcher just because I have Optifine installed through that. And if y'all would like a tutorial on how to use Magic Launcher, just let me know. Um, it's a useful way to set up mods and stuff. Anyways, so just click Login on your client. And I'm using the Pure BD Craft uh, texture pack, which is pretty cool. So click single player, there's the tutorial world, we can see it, 
you know, it's the only one there. It's like play selected world. More creeps and weirdos has been loaded. Have fun. Alright, and uh, I switch fraps over from the desktop to Minecraft. Just so y'all can see better. See it's like it looks like it's glitching out, that's actually clouds. I don't know why they're doing doing that, but as you can see, I am now in Planetoids map on Minecraft 1.2.5. Easy peasy, guys. I also have more creeps and weirdos installed. You can kind of see those weirdos hanging out. Anyways, so that's it, guys. Thanks for watching.